Hey guys, it's Illinok here, back with another awesome unboxing. And today, I went to Target, and there was nothing Beyblade. You know, they did have a Burn Fire Blaze, but Burn Fire Blaze is old. So, that was the newest thing that they had, besides Torch Aries, but, you know, whatever. But I did find something Bakugan, and it's pretty cool. It is the Bakugan Mectanium Surge, Baku Solo, Baku Tactics, Razanoid, or Razanoid. However you say it. It says one Bakugan, one ability card, and one Metal Gate card. See, it says Mectanium Surge, a Diecast Metal, Baku Solo. On the back, we see the ad and stuff for Bakugan Dimensions. And all this copyright stuff and barcode and all that other jazz. So, let's angle the camera down a little bit. And actually do the unboxing. Feel. That's the only thing annoying about Bakugan is that I'll have to like penetrate this with my legendary scissors of awesomeness. So, got a little hole there. Okay. So let's pull out the cards, and I'll show you the cards first. So here is the ability card. It is a blue ability card with no power level, and it is Big Switch. Play at the start of your turn. If you have a Baku Tactics on a gate, you may swap the locations of any number of your Baku gone. So that's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. On the gate card I could have sworn I've seen this design on another card or another um, I think this is on the Baku meter it's either on the Baku meter or on a card that came with the Baku gauntlet I just seen this somewhere I think they reused it and it is a gold gate card and it is reward each player with a Baku tactics at this battle can play ability cards as if the power level was was five so that's pretty cool so I can use like a level three ability card and you know do all the special crud that you can never do before so that's pretty awesome really cool I don't know how, how it's possible if the power level was five if it was the power level was five one person would have three gate cards and another person would have two so one person would already have one, so that's kind of weird. Anyway, let's move on to the actual Bakugan. Razanoid, or Razanoid, however you say it. Well, this little plastic piece around its neck, so I'm probably going to have to cut that off. Yep, I'm going to have to cut it off. Oh, got it. So here is the home attribute, Razanoid or Razanoid, however you say it. You see here, there's this giant sticker. So let's remove that. Okay, so it is a G Power wheel. It's 800, 1,100. Awesome. There is, it's going down, there's a 700, 500, and that's it. This is its home attribute, Darkus, if I already said that, but that is awesome. He's really cool. So let's attempt to close him. I think this is how you do it. Okay, you put his arms up and head down and... All the other stuff. So what you do is you do this, put, put his arms back, put his head in, and then push him down, I think. This is a total fail. Okay, there we go. I think I did it. Wait, push it down, then close the wings. Then close that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I 
got it closed. So it doesn't really look like there's any bumps that can make your rolling better or even worse. There's there's two like right there. And you can kind of see this part protrudes a little bit. And that's about it. So and then you can kind of see the G power wheel. See right there I could see eight hundred. And it's okay. So I see it's opening action on a gate card. And so so let's zoom in a little bit. Zoom in. in. So let's see. It's G Power Wheel in action. I didn't see anything with this G Power Wheel. But it's on 700, so. And it won't change. So you can't just do this. And expect it to change. You have to, I think it pull, when you pull, when it goes back, it changes. So now it's at 500. Huh, it's even worse. Yeah, I think it's stuck on 500 and 700. That might be its base. But if you're lucky enough to get like a seven, an 800 or 1,100 and, you know, 1,100, then you are lucky. And you're probably going to win with this. But if you don't and you get 500, you could always you have a car that says lowest U power wins. So you really pretty much really have to be good in order to use this Bakugan. So that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And also his mouth opens. Like a <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? So there aren't any manual parts besides this wing, that wing. And that's it. It's all of its manual parts. That's kind of cool. That's actually really cool. So, that is it. So, this has been Illinook with another awesome unboxing. And goodbye.